Hey everyone, um, I'm going to show you how to take an object in um, Illustrator and move it to Photoshop, which I promise you, you will have to do one day. Um, <laughs> although I know that some diehard graphic designers out there are probably laughing at me right now. Um, anyways, I have a vector that I downloaded from the internet. Um, and so it, it is an EPS document, which apparently in Mac doesn't automatically open in um, Illustrator, even though on my Windows machine it does. Um, so I'm going to take my EPS document and I'm going to drag it over to the dock and drop it into the Adobe Illustrator icon. Uh, I believe you can do the same thing into the Applications um, folder if you uh, don't have Illustrator in your dock. So um, next thing I'm going to do is, I, by the way, I don't like this arrangement. Um, of Illustrator. So if you hit the F key, it actually changes the window layout, um, which is really helpful. Same thing in Photoshop, just a little quick tip there. Um, Z key, same keyboard shortcut um, in Photoshop to zoom in, um, and then you can basically just select on whatever object you want to zoom in on. Um, and by the way, zooming in is really important because if you are zoomed all the way out, um, it, the selection um, that I'm going to do in a second won't actually select everything. So zooming in is very important. Um, hit your A key or um, go to the direct selection tool um, and select, okay, that didn't, hold on just a second. There we go. Um, select your object um, and you can see that it selected the, um, sorry, hold on just a second. Okay, so you only wanna select um, what, <laughs> The, the object that you want in there. So um, there's that shadow down there that I'm hovering over right now. Um, I didn't want that in there, so I only selected that. Um, and then the wonderful Command C um, function. Now open your Photoshop, create a new document, or um, you can paste into whatever document you had there. Um, and apparently these things keep changing on me. Give me a second. Whoops. I'm going to do mine 1,000 by, uh, I don't know, 550 just for fun. Um, and then you can command V and um, you can switch back and forth between these. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what they do, but um, then you, you open that up and you've got as smart object. Um, that was as smart object. So anyways, there's your, it, it is rasterized now that it's in Photoshop, but since it's a smart layer, um, you can still command T and jump it up even more. Um, and when you zoom back out, um, it'll it'll still look just as crisp as it was earlier. Um, so I'm going to delete that and Command V again and try as pixels just to show you guys kind of what it does um, differently. That one doesn't look too much different, honestly. Um, so delete again, Command V as path. This one um, is kind of interesting. Um, so you can still command T that path and uh, change it. But basically what this is going to allow you to do is you can make different selections out of this. Um, and if you enter and go over to paths, you've got this work path. Um, and you can make selections out of that and paste it different colors. So you don't have to stick with um, that color that we had in Illustrator. Um, so delete, command V again. And a shape layer is basically um, just a white shape with um, the paths there as well. So, um, yep, that's that's the basics of copying and pasting from Illustrator to Photoshop. Yeah. Yes.